Malcolm, how taxing was last season, uh, not only because of the pandemic, but some of the stuff that was just going on with the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was taxing. Every season's taxing for different reasons. Um, there was a little bit more going on in the locker room last season than a regular season. But um, honestly, I think we did the best we could. And you know, now we're moving on. We're not looking back. Real quick, Rick's impact. What do you think Rick's impact will, will be on this on this team? I mean, he's an experienced winner. So at the highest level, at the championship level. So um, that's what we're looking forward to, to receiving. And all of this is the, is the championship pedigree. And Mike, I'm wondering how you see your uh, leadership evolving with the team um, now that you're established and, and kind of have the same guys, but Definitely. you seem to be a strong voice. Definitely a more hands-on approach, um, you know, trying to get the guys together, uh, especially this summer. I had a few times where we got them together. Um, and this season, that, that's something that we have to continue to build on, um, being together, even after games, whether it's having dinner, um, just spending quality time together, bonding. Yeah. Because um, I think that's the way you build trust um, and you build culture and identity. Malcolm, what do you think it meant to this group to have everybody in town, a lot of the guys for the last month, most for the last couple of weeks, the thing you did out in L.A.? It's stuff you couldn't do last year with team building opportunities. For sure. You know, I think it'll, I think it'll um, like I told the guys when we were in L.A., it's going to pay off later. Um, there's select teams that uh, do that type of building during the summer and have those type of you know events where they come together and those are the teams that have the most success those are the teams that are the most together and have the best chemistry so um, you know we're going to continue to build on that that's just a piece of what we need to do but we got to build on it and that needs to translate onto the court now Malcolm um, in addition to the team building stuff that you did I know that you also did some traveling this summer can you talk to us a little bit about that and places you went and uh, what you enjoyed about it for sure. Uh, the summer I got to go to uh, East Africa, Kenya, and Tanzania, uh, all part of my foundation work, uh, building clean water wells. Um, I mean, this is my first time in Kenya. I've been to Tanzania a host of times. Um, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's the best trip I ever take. And I, you know, a lot of the time I go to the same place, especially in Tanzania, we visit the same communities. Um, but it gets more amazing every time you go. Um, then later in the summer, I went to Europe. Got to go to Poland and Zurich, uh, Switzerland, um, you know, and it, it was more vacation, but it was, it's an amazing trip as well. I feel silly asking this question after that, but what, uh, how does this become a better defensive basketball team? What do you have to do and what does this team have to do collectively? Commit. It's all about commitment. Um, you know, the best defenders in the world aren't the best athletes. They're not the... They're not the guys that you know move the fastest or jump the highest. They're the guys that are, you know, the toughest. The guys that put in the effort. Um, the guys that are really tenacious and relentless. Um, and that's what we have to be this year. Uh, it's more of a mindset. Defense is a mindset more than a than a skill or uh, innate ability. Malcolm, you guys are close, but not yet entirely vaccinated. What is your message to your group? Um, you know, overall, I think getting vaccinated is your choice. I think it has to be a uh, bunch of grown grown men with different belief systems. So that has to be your choice. Um, but at the same time, we're trying to we're trying to protect the collective, uh, and that's the entire NBA, not just our team, our organization, but the entire NBA. We're trying to protect our seasons. Uh, this is our livelihood, and this is the livelihood of I think a lot of people in this room as well. So um, you know, I think it's important to get vaccinated, of course, but I think it's also your choice. So. Um, it's, a, it's definitely a, a tricky topic, but I think we've done a good job so far. Malcolm, you've been around the guys now for the last few weeks. Uh, what are the realistic expectations from this team and, and what needs to be done in the next few weeks of camp to kickstart that? Uh, this is a playoff team. Um, it always has been. It, it will continue to be. Um, it's just you, 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 get, you get out what you put in. And we got to put more in this year in preparation and sort of sustain it through the season if we want to get out of it what we want. Um, you know, we have, we've had a, we have a change in leadership now in, in Carlisle and uh, Lloyd Pierce, and, you know, he has, a, he has a pretty amazing roster of coaches with him. So, um, you know, I'm excited about where this team can go and what we can accomplish. 
Uh, but we've got to commit. We've got to be all in. Uh, it has to start on the defensive end. Um, but more importantly, it's to start in training camp um, and, and coming together. Quick follow-up league-wide. I know about 90% of, of guys have been vaccinated. Are you, what are the league conversations you've been having, like trying to push guys, but at the same time, um, would there be, or is there any chance you think of the entire league being fully vaccinated? Uh, you know, I, I'm optimistic that, that we can get there to full vaccination, but you know, there's a, I think there's a decent chance there that won't ever happen. Um, I think they're guys that have strong belief systems that are, you know, bigger than basketball and bigger than money and bigger than, you know, anything that we have going on. So, um, I honestly support, you know, you, you, you know, standing up for your beliefs as well. If, if that's what you believe, then, then do what you think is right. Um, but also understand that there, you know, a lot of people. Um, that are that are depending on this. That, like I said, this is our livelihood. 